So over the past, I don't know, two, three months, Skull & Co has been putting out all kinds of new products. We've got a lot of new stuff for the OLED Switch, a lot of stuff for really everything in gaming. Today we're going to talk about one of those things and it is the OLED Crystal Case. Now, I had the version of this for my regular Switch. I had a few problems with it. This one might have not only fixed that problem, but made this thing maybe the best grip there is out there. What's up guys, welcome back or welcome in for the first time. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. Before we get started, I do want to take a second to thank my supporters on Patreon. You're seeing their names right here. So thank you guys very, very much if you would like to support the channel in that way as well. The link to my Patreon will be down in the description, obviously. I do appreciate it. Now let's get on with this video. Okay, so the crystal case, let's let's kind of go back for a second. Let's go back to the video I did on the regular version of this case. I was very excited for that version for one reason, and it was because they were bringing this style of grip over to the regular size Switch. They had done this already on the Switch Lite, and it was good. I really, really love the Switch Lite version of this case. And I liked the version for the regular Switch as well, but it had it had one problem, which we're gonna get to, and I think they fixed it on this, and I think they've done a few other things here that have made this a really, really nice overall grip. Now, before we jump into that stuff, I do wanna let you know that you can get this grip by itself. You can just buy the case itself. If you are already using one of their other grips that use this, maybe the older version of this for the regular Switch, or the Neo Grip, all these fit. They've got other stuff that these things fit on as well, including Joy-Con grips. Obviously, I'll have a link to their website down below where you guys can check all this stuff out and a code. I'll let you know about that at the end of the video. But you can buy this thing just with the TPU case. And this TPU is actually, uh, from what they say on the website, this is yellow resistant TPU. So the other ones did yellow. I know my Switch Lite ones have gone at this point. They're pretty yellow, but that's been, it's been a while now. So they didn't yellow really fast, but these ones are actually supposed to yellow even slower. So that's definitely a good thing. But if you do buy one, you need to get it replaced because it has gone yellow. You can buy it just that way. You can buy this with the case itself and the grips in this white, and you can get them in the red and blue, just like the OLED comes with, just like they did with the Neo Grip. And you are obviously gonna get all three sizes, which is gonna be the trigger grips, like this, the bigger ones. You get the snap grips, I believe they're called, and the plus grips. Now obviously these are the Animal Crossing colors, and yes, you can get these things in all different colors, just like you can, you know. We, we've talked about this in other Skull & Cove videos. I don't really need to go over all of this, but quickly, you can get it in the Max Carry case as well. You can get it as a bundle, so you can get it any way you think that you need to do it. It is the exact same Max Carry case that they've been using. So the major differences between this one and the regular one. First off, obviously, your venting is gonna be completely different here. This thing is a different shape. They, they, they have speaker holes in different places. All those cutouts are there. Everything you need is gonna be in the right place. So this grip is wider to fit the OLED switch, but it's not much wider. And this, this is one of the things that I find very interesting about this grip. One of my main complaints, actually it was probably the only complaint I had about the original version of this, was that it was really loose on the switch. You could literally just put a tiny bit of pressure on the corner and pop out. That, for me, was the reason that I used the smaller grip. That kind of masked the issue that I had with it. With this one, clearly I wasn't the only one saying that it was a little bit too loose it was this one is not loose like that it's actually a lot tighter it is a little bit loose there's some play obviously you're gonna have to have a little bit to get it in and out of the case which it still does just fine it's very easy to get in and out but it is a much tighter fit than the original version of this so right off the bat right there the main problem that I had with this thing has been fixed when it actually showed up here I wasn't really all that interested in even really taking a close look at this until we were actually uh we were hanging out last week after the podcast link in the description to that if you want to check that out but we were hanging out uh in discord after the podcast last week and i pulled it out of the box and put it on and i was very very surprised to see how well this thing actually fits so big issue i had with it right there completely taken care of that was the only issue i had with this thing now they've added something else to this which is amazing but i do have to say and this is this is not gonna be an issue for everybody. This is gonna be something that just is a preference for me now because of the way that I use the OLED. But 
Obviously with this case, it does block the kickstand, which for the old Switch, I wouldn't have cared. I never used it, but for this Switch, it is actually something I use a lot. Not even to play in tabletop mode, but just to set my Switch on a table. For some reason, I've just gone to using the kickstand. I feel a lot more comfortable setting it places like that, rather than leaving it like this where someone could, you know, set something on top of it or, you know, something could fall on it. I do have kids, so, you know, that's, that's, it's always a possibility here. So for me, that's a small con. Again, that's gonna be up to the individual user. For me, tiny con doesn't even matter though. They fixed the big issue with it. They've added something here on the top though that I find to be very, very interesting. And and watching them, watching them take this area right here, the buttons, the, the, uh, the L and R and the ZR and ZL buttons, and what they've done from their original grip to where they are now just shows really how much time they're putting into these grips and how much attention to detail they're, they're really paying to all this stuff. Now with their original grip they had little little covers that went over the buttons. They were kind of stiff. You kind of had to work them in a little bit and then they were fine. When they moved to the crystal case, they kind of still had the same thing. They were just clear, just pieces of the case that were molded to go over the buttons. But now they actually have little pieces in here. Let me see if I can get one of these out because they do actually come out, which is crazy. This is what is in there now. If you can see right here, obviously I'll have better uh better video of it up that you can swear, but these are floating buttons. These things just kind of snap into place. They go right over top of the buttons, like little button extensions, really. They feel just like the actual buttons on the Switch. I had absolutely no issue with the way they were doing it on the Crystal Case before this, but this is, this is a thousand times better. It's like having the actual buttons but they're just raised up over the grip. So not only are you still getting all that protection all the way around the Switch, now obviously it's TPU, it's not a ton of protection, but it is a little bit of something there, you know, in case you would drop it or bang it against something, it works. It works really well. These button covers are fantastic. I did try it without them in there. You can use it without them in there, but the buttons are, they're kind of sunk down in, into the case, so it's gonna be a little bit more of an issue to reach down in there to press those, but if you don't want them on there, you can actually just take them out. If you're somebody who doesn't like to have any cover whatsoever on here, you can totally just take them out. I wouldn't recommend it. I think it works a lot better with them in there, but it can be done. So other than my minor issue with the kickstand not being available with this grip, this thing is amazing. This is what I wanted the original one to be. This is what I, I really liked about the Neo Grip because it, it fixed that issue with the, you know, the looseness that was there. They've gone back again and fixed it with the crystal case. So at this point, if you were you know, on the fence about getting a crystal case because maybe you saw what I said about it in the last video, the issue's fixed. I'm gonna go ahead and link that video at the end of this video so you can check it out. I do go into a little bit more detail about docking this thing and some other, other little things here and there. I don't feel that I need to go over them again in this video, but if you want a little bit more information, I'll have that video right here. I will also have another video right here with the Neo Grip. I am... Also going to be putting out a video later this week comparing the two directly, the Crystal and the Neo, so be on the lookout for that. But guys, that's gonna do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, make sure you are subscribed. We'll see you in the next one.